So my beautiful people, I am back with another hour and Ring video and today guys I showcase to you how you can get this easily missable rare dagger known as the bloodstained dagger. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leave a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So I have farmed so many weapons in this game and I've missed, well I'm still missing quite a few. Obviously the ones that come from the more scarce enemies that don't have guaranteed drops are the ones that are harder to actually get. This is one of those weapons guys. The Bloodstained Dagger, as you can see, scales with strength and dexterity, it requires 9 in strength and 12 in dexterity and it causes a blood loss build up. Now what I will say is this, this actually has an A tier strength scaling when you apply certain Ashes of War to it as you know under that heavy uh, equip so here we go let me show you quick demonstration guys there you go not bad not bad whatsoever ain't my kind of weapon but hey if I find an enemy that's unique I will sit there and I will farm them for hours until they drop something just to bring you guys a video and that's what I've done and it's why I'm still on my first playthrough guys 530 odd hours later I'm trying to get everything I'm trying to unlock every weapon before I go into that new game plus and hey, I've come across some quite rare ones, and like I said, this seems to be one of them. Now it drops from the enemy, I think there's only like four or five on the map. But the easiest one to actually get to, he's asleep by a bridge about there. Now, in my, you can probably come from this grace point to the actual enemy, but it's much easier to get to this grace point, activate this one, and use this one to farm him. And to get to this one, guys, you have to, say if you're coming from the bridge, because the first step's right here. So it's quite an easy farm. Uh, it's quite an uh, early on farm. So the first step's here, come down to this uh, the bridge of sacrifice, come all the way down here, and you'll come to this merchant, and there's a grace point right next to it. Because you actually have to come around. You can't go straight from there to there. You have to come around here. So that's what we're going to do. So come to this grace point, guys, this merchant grace point, and I'll lead the way from here. So you want to go towards west from the... Uh, the grace point just follow the path i'm taking now put my light on it's getting a bit dark out here you know what i mean but yeah i'll farm some weapons in the game this one it seems to have such a low drop rate. i'm not even sure what it is let me quickly check i've probably still got the no i haven't but hey it's probably got to be like a two between two and four percent if that probably even less and because the enemy doing that many of these enemies on the map i mean it's going to be even rarer for a lot of people, so yeah. Follow where I'm going, guys. Just keep coming around this way and you'll see where we're at. Right here. Come past that. And you see the grace points on a rock just around here. I believe it's up there. There it is, right there. So, am I being chased by rats? Probably, not me. But yeah, what I will say is to farm this, guys. Um... Make the most out of it. If you've got a silver tier mask, use that. Also, the silver scab massively helps out. Also, the grafted uh, blade greatsword. When you activate this thing's a uh, special attack, the oath of vengeance, you get more to that discovery. So yeah, so just quickly pop it. Ba bam. Now, what I will say is uh, the the silver uh, pickled fowl feet are quite useless because obviously. They expire as soon as you fast for back to a grey, so I wouldn't recommend you wasting them here. But either way guys, the guy we're going to farm is down here by the bridge. He's asleep by the bridge right there. Now to get to him from this grace point, this is what you got to do. So from the grace point guys, pull out your horse and come this way. Now I may just continue farming him to get a second one because I like two of every weapon. But it's probably took me about two and a half hours straight of farming him to get this so yeah so jump down here don't just try and jump straight down guys because you're 40 death i tried that quite a few times come down this way and then just jump off your horse and kill him seems like that's quite an easy kill i can one hit him but hey i killed this guy so many times guys and he would not drop this thing so yeah which have done that straight back to the grace point and it really is guys that simple so if this weapon piques your interest if you're after a a nice little dagger 
Bloody Stain Dagger cause that blood loss build up. Hey, this may just be for you. A, a uh, tier attribute scaling in that strength. May just be for you guys. We'll find me one more time because I'm normally lucky. I'm going to start recording these things live. For all these videos when I'm farming these enemies, I sometimes have them drop. So I'll get them one more time while I'm recording. If not, I'll end the video. But either way, guys, you know what you got to do. If this looks interesting to you if you're just a collector like me and you want to collect everything well you know what you got to do to collect this thing simple as that come on you bastard give me another one give me another one. Oh, oh he's dropping me something but you know what he drops so he must have a hundred things in his loot book glass shards rainbow shards strings i hate him but there we have it guys i've had enough of this dude so yeah if the bloodstained dagger is for you you know where you gotta come to get it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my bear you, Tiff for people. I will see you on that next one.